What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 7 to the Sky. Guys, last episode, we set up this area here where we were collecting some pink slime and some liquid meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got this all going, and we have collected quite a bit. So we got 72 buckets of the pink slime and 25 buckets of the liquid meat. I think there's a way we can turn that into food or use some kind of like a uh, feeder thing with that. I don't know. Uh, but I have noticed that I haven't seen mobs spawn. I wonder, is this stuff preventing them from spawning? It is. So this eventually turns itself off with the, the bone meal effect. I don't know if it's like these little guys here that create the bone meal or not. But yeah, eventually this area just gets covered with that tall grass and it appears that prevents mobs from spawning. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to knock out a quest or at least a section of quests right away here Uh in the food and farming section. So this wanted us to have a lead. They wanted us to have three leather Bucket of milk shears three wool Uh the marketplace which we made a while ago three eggs Uh ten feathers three chicken raw chicken. So all of that stuff Currently in my inventory, we have all of those, but the quest is not complete because it's blocked by a check mark. <laughs> so yes, all of these are now complete. So let's go ahead and claim this stuff. Look at all of these. All of them are done. So we get some XP here. We get some XP and leather here. We get uh, some steak and XP, more XP, wool and XP. Oh my goodness, all the things. Emerald, uh, scrambled eggs. That's pretty good. I like scrambled eggs and some fried chicken. All right, so all of those quests are now done. Uh, so yeah, I can get all of this stuff out of my inventory now. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, we also, last episode, was it last episode? Well, or one of the, the f episodes recently, we made the mob imprisonment tool. So since then, I have actually gone around and collected a few animals. Oh my goodness, these things are still going. Uh, so I got a sheep, a cow, and a chicken. So we have like those farm animals available. And I don't think I've seen any other... Yeah, we had pigs around here at some point. I guess I can always spawn them in using the grass over here if I wanted to, and then we can capture one later. I didn't have another mob imprisonment tool for them, but I'm not sure where all the pigs went. They just seem to have disappeared, so that's kind of odd. Uh, but yeah, so we got those quests knocked out. I did want to try and get through some of these quests. We also have uh, some more of these things that we can claim, so... This wanted us to kill five blazes, and we have done that, so there's uh, some blaze rods. This one wants us to kill ten, and we are 90% there. I guess one more blaze kill will get us five molten cores and some more XP. And then we also got five wither skeleton kills, which is going to give us wither skull fragments. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what other... It still says there's something else right here. So kill some skeletons. Uh, kill some creepers. Yep, we got all these done. And then under this one, to the nether. Right, we did that last episode. So we got some XP and some nether quartz. We got more blaze rods, blaze head, more XP. Is that all of them? I think that is <laughs> currently all of the quests that we had unlocked. So moving along, I was just kind of poking through the book here. I saw there was the industrial foregoing section here. And there's a lot of quests. But I noticed, just looking at this, like, we have a few of these things done right away. We've done plastic, and I'm sure we've made some of these machines. Uh, again, that's blocked up by a check mark, so let's go ahead and do that. Pity machine frame. So this actually wants us to have it in our inventory in order to get credit. So fluid extractor, latex bucket, latex processing unit. So we've done all these, we just didn't have them in our inventory. We didn't have that section unlocked. Um, so pity machine frame. Let's go ahead and just make one of those to satisfy the quest. And then the fluid extractor, I guess we're going to break and replace some of these things. So I'll break that. All right, quest complete, fluid extractor. Place that back. How's this doing? Is this empty? Uh, it's basically empty. All right, so back to the quest book. We wanted a latex bucket. Okay, so I want to turn this off. Run. With redstone signal. Okay, so this will collect the latex in here. We need to replace this log because this is going to go really slow <laughs> with that log there. Acacia log. We should uh, set this thing up to be more automatic, but I think before we do that... Oh, this is facing the wrong way now, isn't it? Uh, before we do that, I would like to set up a permanent spot for this machine. This needs to go this way. 
There it is. And that goes there. I don't like how this log is mostly broken. That seems weird, but okay, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll be collecting the latex over here. We need to get a full bucket of that. Uh, let's see, what else do we need beyond the latex bucket? So we need the processing unit. Yeah, we have that. We need some dry rubber. I actually have some right here, ready to go. And then we got the little guys right in here as well. Okay, so we have that and then plastic. So we need to smelt up at least one plastic and then we'll get five more in return. I'll probably do a full coal worth of plastic or maybe a couple. I'm not sure. How much do we have here? Uh, come on. Do that. So we have 18. All right, so I will do two coal worth. All right, so we're almost at the full bucket here. 996 and 1000. All right, so I should be able to grab a bucket like that. Okay, so there we go. There's our bucket done. And then I can turn this thing back on to ignore it. Sweet. So that'll just continue making our plastic. So back into here. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, this one. Okay, we're turning that off. So we're not using any more of the rubber. Good. And we're only going to lose four millibuckets worth of that. We need the processing unit. All right, I don't know if this is all set up correctly again. Hopefully it is. I, I'm going to assume everything's going to be fine with that. I won't have to mess with any of the settings. I'll, I'll double check that later. Uh, so then we need some more dry rubber. And we have the plastic on us. All right, so meat feeder. This is actually the thing we were just talking about a little bit ago. This uses the liquid meat. So we look, I think we should be able to make that. Meat feeder. We might not have these glass bottles. We don't have those glass bottles, but we should be able to craft those. And meat feeder. All right. So there's that quest. Let's actually come over here real quick. All the chickens come over here and we'll grab some of this liquid meat. And oh. Okay. So this holds 512 buckets of liquid meat. Wow. I do believe this uh, will go into a slot. Yeah, so you can put it on your head slot. Is that the only slot it'll go into? What are these bundles? I don't know what those are. Um, They won't go there. I think that actually only goes on. Yeah, so it looks like that only goes onto the head slot. That's fine. So that'll just keep me fed over time. Like we still have the avocado toast that we can use if we need a big saturation boost, but for just like moving around and stuff, yeah, that's nice. We don't have to worry about eating constantly. Uh, latex bucket. I think I can put that back into here. There we go. Yeah, and that'll just process into 10 more of the little rubber things. All right, very good. Uh, so going back to the quest here, let's go ahead and claim these. So that's going to give us... Is that two tanks full of latex here? What? Two tanks. Each one has 14 buckets of latex. Okay. That's actually kind of useful. So there's a reward for this, more XP, and the plastic's gonna give us five more plastic, and Meat Feeder did not give us a reward for doing that, womp womp. Dissolution Chamber, we actually have a quest for that, so we made that, we'll do this. We'll place it back. Uh, no reward for that, it looks like Simple Machine Frame, I think I actually have an extra one. Simple Machine Frame, yep, we have that one. All right, so we'll put that back, and one XP. <laughs> one whole XP. Well, XP levels plus one anyway. So, Marine Fisher. Simple black hole storage. Simple black hole tank. I think that's the one that we made, right? And then I don't think we made this one. Simple black hole unit. So, yeah, this guy right here. Simple black hole tank. There we go. So that thing was actually useful for completing a quest, even though it holds the same as the Jumbo tank. I feel less stupid about making it. <laughs> uh, simple black hole unit. We should be able to make that. Let's check that out. Simple black hole unit. This one. And we have everything except for the Eye of Ender, which we now have. Boom. Quest complete. So this holds 524,000 items. That's not bad. I'm not sure how useful that is with drawers, but it's not bad. All right, we'll put all of that stuff away. That latex, maybe I should... 
Maybe I should, um, consolidate this. Wait, we have latex in three of these? I am so confused. This must be one that I filled up myself. I am not sure. Can I right click that? Whoop. Okay. There we go. That one's empty. And then this one. Out. Oh no. Okay. Well, either way, we got these things consolidated. This one's got 32 in it. This one's got six. Okay. And then we have one that's completely empty. Right. So we have extra latex. Should we need that for some reason in the future? So there's a lot of things over here. I'm not sure if there's any other things that we need to worry about right now. I kind of wanted to make sure we weren't like backlogging mob slaughter factory. Yeah, pink slime. I wanted to make sure we weren't backlogging on these quests. So mob slaughter factory, we already have that set up over here. Let's grab that real quick. There it is. And I need to reset this up. All right, so while I was over here, there was also another quest to get a bucket of the liquid meat and the pink slime. Uh, so if we come back into this guy, yeah, so we have the mob slaughter factory. That's 100 more XP. Uh, we have the bucket of pink slime and liquid meat. So I did that. So that's going to give us 14 buckets of each. I'm getting a lot of these tanks. Uh, I did make a second advanced machine frame, so I collected this one as well. And I think that is about it. Right, so that, I, I'm pretty sure that catches us up with most of the stuff that we've done so far. Is there a way for me to put that back in there? I guess I have to like, hmm. Hmm. I think I do that and then there's a way that I can extract it or I just use a uh, tank or something. Well, I'll get this fluid out of these and put it into the jumbo tank so we are not taking up all that extra space. So we'll get a couple fluid pipes and the wrench, like a show. That is not where that goes. Very good. This one, like so. This one, like so. Is it actually? No, that's draining. Why is this one not draining? Liquid pink slime, pink slime. This one drained just fine from the side. Why is this one not draining? Oh. Okay, well, it looked like it was set to the extract mode, but then I right-clicked again, like, flash normal and back again, so I guess that was a visual bug. Now it's draining just fine. All right, so we got that all done, and we got some more of these mechanism tanks. This is just about empty. There it is. Awesome. Okay, so that's all consolidated. <laughs> how much pink slime? We have 123 buckets. I don't really know how much pink slime we're going to need, but I'm pretty sure, like, pink slime ingots, which... Is shown here. I think these are like a bucket per one bucket to make a pink slime ingot. So I guess it doesn't hurt to have extra pink slime for later. Anyway, we'll just let that continue doing its thing over there until it becomes a thing that we need to remove. So poking around the quest book, I saw this productive bees, and this actually has me kind of interested. If we take a look at productive bees, there's a lot of different types of combs that we can get, right? So getting these resources coming in, especially ones that are a little bit more annoying, like uh, the applied energistics ones, I just was hovering over it, so like Fluix or something. There's a Draconic? Is that even a thing in this pack? I guess it is. That gets us Draconic Honeycomb Blocks. That'll get us Draconic Dust. What does that even do? Draconic Chunk, which turns into Inactive Dragon Egg. I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of cool things that we can do, but in order to even get started with this, we need to have a bee, right? I assume that's how this whole mod starts, but the quest only has a check mark. I don't know if the, like clicking this shows a whole bunch of other quests or anything. Let's find out what happens. Uh, welcome to Productive Bees. Have you ever wanted bees to produce more than honey? Maybe iron? All the modium? Well, now they can, somehow. Important note, with the bee quests requiring combs, the recipes will not be shown. Make sure to look them up in GEI if you need them. Aha, this does show other quests. I was wondering why there was this big page that they weren't going to show any other quests. Wow, okay, there's... Oh my goodness, there's a lot of quests here. All right. Uh, so that all starts here. Vanilla mechanics, the first step. So I guess we're going to have to grow a tree next to a flower to try and get a nest to spawn, right? 
You'll need to grab some honeycombs and a few bottles of honey to get started with bees. Find yourself a nest, but don't break it. Let the bees do their thing and harvest some honeycombs with shears and honey bottles with glass bottle. We will need them. Okay, so this says to go find them the ex nihilo way. Beehive frame, beehive, buzzing doll, bee spawn egg. Ex nihilo uh, lets you make a hive without any honeycomb. A few pieces of string and some sticks will get you started on your quest. Toss that buzzing doll into witch water and watch uh, in which water to spawn your first bee. Interesting. Beehive frame. And that is stick around string. Okay. You know what? Let's do that. So we will make ourselves a hive that way. So sticks around a string. So there's those. And then beehive. This guy. Okay, task completed. So a buzzing doll, that is a porcelain doll. We need flour, we need some yellow, some glowstone, another beehive frame. There's that, and then buzzing. Okay, so we don't have any yellow dye and we don't have a porcelain doll either. So I need some porcelain clay, that's easy enough, five of those. And then, I guess we'll do it this way. So there's six of them. So now we are missing yellow dye. Do we have any more dandelions? We do. So four of those. There's our yellow. There's our buzzing doll. Okay, so we have that one done. So moving on from that. Oh, we needed the, uh, the three beehive things. That's fine. We can just make those real quick. Aha. So that's done. That's going to give us a bee spawn egg. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then the vanilla way. A birch or oak sapling grown within two blocks of a flower has a 5% chance to grow with a hive. So in order to get the bee nest, I'm pretty sure we need to have silk touch. I am pretty sure. Uh, and I don't think we have a silk touch anywhere at this point in time. So I need to get myself a tool with silk touch. We don't have any way to get enchanting. Is there a way... Is there like a way for us to just make something with silk touch? This we can if we had Eldwood sticks, which I don't think we can do yet. Silk touch book. I don't know how we get silk touch other than vanilla enchanting at this point in time. So I guess we can look into that. We got lots of experience. So I took down our sugar cane into dirt thing. In fact, I removed all the plants that we had over here earlier. If you guys didn't see that at the beginning of the episode, that's been gone. Uh, so I had to reset this thing back up so we can get enough sugar cane <laughs> in order to make books so we can make bookshelves and make ourselves an enchantment table that's going to be uh, able to create level 30 enchantments, right? So we got all of that stuff done now. Got a little bit of extra sugar cane ready to go. Let's put all these extra bits away. Uh, so I made our cell here some bookshelves, an enchantment table, some lapis so we can do some enchanting, and then an XP tap, which we can, should be able to put on the side of our giant tank over that's holding all of our liquid XP to get orbs out, right? So we can fill up our XP to level 30. So let's come back over here. Yeah, so we should be able to put this on the side. I haven't tried this yet, but it should work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so then we can get up to level 30, and then if we end up having too much, we can just drain it back into the tank and just make sure we're not wasting XP, right? So I think that's pretty good. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is set up our bookshelf and our enchantment table, and we also need to have something in order to enchant to get that silk touch on. So maybe I'll make myself a, another diamond axe. I assume I should be able to combine it with this one, and we'll have this axe that has silk touch on it, I assume. Uh, then we want stick. I don't know if it's better for me to, uh, enchant axes with that or if I should enchant a book. I'm actually not sure. We'll find out if this works. Otherwise, I guess we can pull the enchantment off using industrial foregoing, right? And then get the silk touch by itself. Uh, I, I guess that's what we'll do. Well, anyway, let's get this thing set up here. This will be a temporary thing and then we'll tear it back down once we get silk touch. 
So there's five, something like this. Great. Our enchantment table goes here. And then two more like that. Old school set up here. Uh-huh. All right, so our very first enchantment, are we gonna succeed? Efficiency. Fortune. I don't see Silk Touch. I think I'm just going to burn through, oh, you know what? I should also make myself a grindstone, right? Grind stone. We should make one of these so we don't have to keep making new tools. We can just pull the enchantment off and then re-enchant it. All right, so there's our grind stone. Right there. All right, so let's do this. We'll just burn through a level one. Ooh, that keeps the lapis in there. That's nice. That should be in vanilla. So we'll just put an efficiency on there. Do this. And we'll just keep doing this until we find Silk Touch. All right, so that took a little bit of time. You can see we're down to 18 lapis. I did actually go and get some books so I could check what the books had on them to make sure we weren't missing Silk Touch this way. But yeah, finally we get Silk Touch here on this axe and it gets efficiency three as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so Silk Touch is good. We'll leave the enchantment set up there for now. We can move it later now that we have the Silk Touch. Uh, the next step is we need to get ourselves some birch, I guess. Birch works fine. Uh, we'll just convert all of those into regular saplings. Then we're going to need some flowers. Uh, dandelions should be fine as well. So this is something I'm pretty familiar with doing. Uh, I did this on the Hermitcraft server. Just go ahead and place some of these flowers nearby. And then we'll just spam a whole bunch of birch right next to each other like this. And because the birch is going to be within so many blocks of... Actually, is it? I think it's better actually if you separate it by one. Anyway, the birch sapling is going to be in so many blocks of the flower that it has a chance of spawning the beehives, right? So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this and then do it on this side as well. Like, sure. All right. And then, yeah, we just go ahead and grow the trees. And if we get lucky, we get ourselves a bee nest. Oh, I hear a bee nest. Where is it? I don't even see it. Uh, hello? I'm, why am I hearing them if they're not even in here? I literally am hearing... What are you? A yellow carpenter bee? Where did you even come from? Oh! A birch nest from protective bees. Check that out! The actual log of the tree is the bee nest. Oh, I have not seen this before. Yeah, right there, birch nest. Uh, the nest is empty. Use a honey treat on it to attract a bee. The nest can attract bees in this location. So we're getting yellow carpenter bees. Oh. Well, I was expecting to see the vanilla bees, but... I don't know if these yellow carpenter bees are what we want or not. Alright, second time's a charm. Um, completed the quest the vanilla way. What, do I just have to look at it? I'm not actually sure. I don't have that in my inventory yet. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I just started... Oh, I don't want to kill this bee. Let's let that bee get its pollen and then go back into the hive real quick. Because we only have the one, I am pretty sure. Uh, oh no, there is, uh, there's multiple bees in there. Okay, so we got at least two bees. Alright, go back in there, little buddy. And I am going to collect you. Yeah, so this is the second attempt. I went ahead and I soaked touch all of the other... Uh, the birch hives, the birch nests that we got. One of them was empty, but we do have three of those bees. All right, so there is that guy. Maybe we'll get lucky and get another one. There is another one. Look at that. All right, so we got another bee nest. We'll just finish up the rest of these. And that looks like it, unless we got any more of the carpenter bee ones. Uh, but yeah, the way I was doing that was just vein mining the bottom of the tree because the bottom log was never the nest. And if the tree didn't vein mine all the way, I knew there was a nest there and I had to be careful around it. Yeah, that one right here. Oh, no. That was just a little bit of lag. That's fine. Not a single one on that on that try. I wonder what the difference was. On the first set of them, we got four of the carpenter ones. And on this one, we got zero of them. I wonder if it was just really lucky or unlucky either way. Um, but yeah, so we ended up getting two bee nests. At least one of these has two vanilla bees in it. So that should get us on our way here to starting with the productive bees mod. 
I did just make an anvil and I tried putting the silk touch onto this bone splitter. I thought it was gonna be a simple thing like this and we'd get silk touch, but after careful inspection here, I noticed that the ax has looting five on it. I'm not sure if I noticed that before, maybe I did. I know I had the sharpness 10 and the mending, which I thought was pretty cool. And it also has capturing, but looting five, I'm not entirely sure I knew about. So yeah, we cannot put looting and silk touch on the same ax. So these are gonna be different ones. Unfortunately, this silk touch ax does not have mending on it. So that's something that we're gonna have to look at getting at some point in the future. But this got me thinking, since we have looting on there and we have a bow, we should be able to hold the ax and then come over and murder some animals and get a whole bunch of drops, right? So, what did we get here? Five raw mutton, four bezor, I guess, and then one white roll. Do you not get ever extra wool with looting? I guess you don't. You get the meat and the other item there. So chicken, get done. We got five raw chicken off that one. Yeah, so the looting works real well. I should have been doing this when we were fighting the blaze in the nether last episode. So when we eventually set up that spawner that has uh, the blaze in it, yeah, this is, uh, this is what we're going to do. We are going to kill them with the axe or with the bow holding the axe, and then we'll get a whole bunch of blaze rods that way. So we have some delightful dirt up here. I wanted to see if we can silk touch this. I'm not actually sure if we can or cannot, but let's find out. If we can, I'd like to hold it, hold on to it. Looks like we absolutely can, perfect. So I'll just vein mine all this delightful dirt. Oh, chicken, check out what's over here. Pig, hey pig. I said that I wanted to hold on to one of these things, but I'm sure we'll find one eventually. Oh no, the pig fell. Okay, so yeah, this area here, this seems like a great area to do a little bit of bee breeding. Um, yeah, so we have a few bees and we need to have more than a few bees. So I have turned this off. In fact, I removed the add-on from this just to be double sure. Uh, the baby bees I know can fit through this. So I'm gonna make another fence gate here, but yeah, I'm gonna fill that floor back in. We're gonna release the bees in there and then we're gonna do some bee breeding, but I will need to get myself some flowers uh, we only have four dandelions. I don't know what all we can feed to bees in this. Uh, maybe like botania flowers would be better, but either way, we're going to need some bone meal. I'm going to have to spam some bone meal around to collect flowers, and then we can use that to breed. Probably two tall flowers like uh, the rose bush or whatever would be great, but I don't know if we can get that easy or not. Uh, maybe we can find that in the twilight. I'll have to do some research. So I went into the twilight looking for these tall flowers and I kind of got a little worried because all I was finding was the Batania ones, but uh, I kind of flew around the starting portal in there and sure enough, I found a patch of both these rose bushes and some lilacs. So here we go, we got some of these and we are ready to make all sorts of these two tall flowers to feed two bees to do some bee breeding. Let's go ahead and finish up this little bit right here. Awesome. Uh-huh. All right, so we got all that, and then let's grab these bee nests. I don't know if there's any extra bees in here or not, but we'll come into here and close that up, make sure they cannot escape, and we'll place these down and that down. So I know one of the bees, or one of the hives, two bees came out, they grabbed the, f the pollen, they went back in, so it might be a while before we can get the bees to come out. But yeah, I'll just stand over here, keeping the bees away from the hives. I'm trying to extract all the bees from both of them. I don't know if there's only two bees or if we have four bees or what it is, but we'll try and do that and then we'll do a little bit of bee breeding by some right click action. Oh, it's adorable. So as I'm here looking at these bees, I'm breeding them up. I'm kind of wondering why we are not using the mob duplicator at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, so mob duplicator, this thing right here requires an advanced machine frame, which we already have, and I think we have basically everything. Maybe not this magma cream, but I think we can make that. But yeah, the mob duplicator should be able to take a bee, put it into a Pokeball thing, the mob imprisonment tool, and then spawn it using liquid XP, right? So I think that is what I am going to do. Uh, can I get out of here without these bees following me? Hopefully. All right, you stay in there, bees. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna end up doing. Um, maybe I'll put a flower in here to let these bees just pollinate and do the things that bees do. Let me open this up. We'll put a flower here so they can, they can get pollen and pollinate and make some honey levels in there and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we want to make a mob duplicator, so let's make a, one of those. And I don't know. Yeah, we're just missing this magma cream. So there we go. Mob duplicator. That was real simple. So this thing, uh, show working area, will only spawn... I thought it spawned on top of it, but I'm not seeing the working area at all. I thought by default it just spawned right on top of it, but when it, it's not showing the working area here... Let's put in an add-on. Here's a plus one add-on. It is still not showing the area, huh? Put that into there, show working area. It's just not showing it. I don't know if that's broken or what's going on. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty sure without the add-on, it can spawn the mob directly on top of this thing. We'll just assume that is correct. So I need to get myself a mob imprisonment tool, get a B in there. Then we can start spawning in a whole bunch of those and make this part of it that much simpler. But guys, I think we ran out of time for this episode, so that'll have to wait for next time. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.